What is going on guys? Today we're going to be seeing just how healthy a 300,000 mile engine is. Now this is my 2006 Acura RSX and it has nearly 300,000 miles on it. And today we're going to be finding out if this engine is still in good condition using this compression tester right here. Now doing a manual compression test on your engine can tell you exactly how healthy it is. And today we're going to be using my RSX and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do a manual compression test. Now, before we get to do the compression test on this vehicle, we have to do two things. We have to first deactivate fuel, which you can either pull your fuel pump fuse or just unplug your injectors. And then we also have to get the spark plugs out, which will be right up under this cover for me. So I'm going to have to take this cover off and this cover. Now, my fuel injectors are in a super easy spot to get to. So I'm just going to take these little connectors off so that they're not going to be spraying fuel into the cylinder while we're trying to run our compression test. All right, so we got all those unplugged already. Now we can just start to get this top cover off so we can get to our spark plug. Now that we have our cover off, we just have to remove our four spark plug coils. All right, so coils are out of the way. We're gonna just try to position the wiring harness a little bit out of the way. And then down here is going to be our four spark plugs. So we're gonna have to remove them so that we can finally hook up our compression tester to each individual cylinder, spin the motor over, and then get our readings. Now, I believe these spark plugs are five eighths, but let's see. Yep, they are, sweet. We're gonna take us a big old ratchet and just break them loose. Now, because I'm lazy, we'll let our electric ratchet do the rest. Take a little magnet and let's see the condition of our spark plugs. These have not been changed in a long time, so I don't expect them to be very good. Uh, yep, spark plug looks a little burnt. Now, let's see if I'll actually focus. There we go. Now here are all four spark plugs out of the car, guys. Now these haven't been changed in about 100,000 miles, so it's definitely time. But before we put new spark plugs in the vehicle, we're gonna do our little manual compression test. Now it's super easy to do it. You just gotta pick the correct little line to go in there, and this will thread exactly, we're gonna start with cylinder one. Uh, this will thread exactly into where the spark plugs go. So you just kinda manually tighten it down there, and then once it inevitably gets to the bottom, Give it a good little twist. Now we can just grab our compression gauge and hook it up to the cylinder. Now this is the gauge that's gonna be telling us exactly how healthy our engine is. And now whenever you're doing a compression test on your own vehicle, you can look up the spec and the range that the cylinders are supposed to be producing on the gauges. For me, I don't really personally care because this engine is so old. I just really want all my cylinders to be around the same number. So I know it's basically wearing evenly. It's also a good idea before you get started to grab a piece of paper so you can record your readings off the gauge. Now we have everything ready to go. I have the gauge kind of in a place where I can kind of see it from the inside of the car. So we're just gonna get inside the car, spin the engine over a few times and see what the gauge says. All right, so for cylinder one, it looks like we have, what is that, roughly 130 PSI. Time for cylinder two. Uh, so I wish I was joking about this, but uh, <laughs> cylinder two, it literally is reading zero PSI. So that's interesting. Huh. Well, on to cylinder three. All right, and cylinder three reads roughly 115, it looks like. Now on to cylinder four. And cylinder four looks like it's going to also be zero. What? All right, so here we have our readout. So we got 130 PSI on cylinder one, zero on cylinder two, 115 on cylinder three, which is all right. And then cylinder four also has zero. Now I did a little bit of research and turns out I'm just fucked 
Like, <laughs> no, so there is actually something wrong with this engine, which is weird because this car has been giving me zero issues before today. Like, I mean, I, I, there's no misfires. It runs fairly strong from what I can tell and I'm getting decent gas mileage. So this is really interesting. Honestly, it might be a valve lash issue or maybe just a slightly stuck open valve from carbon buildup on the exhaust valves, intake valves. I have no idea. There's something going on in cylinder two and cylinder four on this engine uh, that I'll have to dig into at a later time. But <laughs> that's how you do a compression test, guys. I was <laughs> really not expecting that result from this engine. Honestly, that, that that's pretty surprising. But yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I did that now. You know what? Just for good measure, we're gonna make sure this is tight. Dude, snap this onto there. That's on there. We have it set up and we're gonna just turn the motor over one more time just to verify. Let's see. Moment of truth. Just so you guys know I'm not lying over here. Yeah, zero PSI. <laughs> that's, that's awful.